Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the good old grind in the blind playthrough on the highest difficulty. It's time for another abductor, this time in the desert. We have lately shut down quite a few UFOs. I am proud of that. So let's launch the combat team. We want to capture as many of them as possible and of course get some sweet 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 experience we got our exosuit armor yep and we need a little bit more upgrade for this here and then we hopefully have reached the final 40 plus mark of armor which will be good enough to withstand a couple of blows i appreciate that so Let's jump right into the mix and see how well we're doing. And whilst we're doing this... Launch interceptors. Got our phantoms ready. So there's another UFO. But before we can see how that one resolves, I think we're going to go and do a ground mission. Commands tactical battle, yes please. Right, we landed. Let's secure the area and uh, kill off uh, all of uh, the enemy forces. And we got a couple of them out here. Good, that's a single hit. And that's a kill. Fantastic. So, let's start moving out into this direction. We're going to illuminate the entire area. A little bit over here. A bit more over there. Some more over here. That's already the end of the map. Some more over there. And last but most certainly not least, some over there. Good. So, plenty of illumination. Moving up. Epi has a long but doable shot. Nope, unfortunately misses. Zero chance. And it's more than a zero percent chance. Actually a 60 percent. I like it. Good hit. Tony, 70%. Unfortunately fails to hit, and we got the, the G. One and only, 80%. Hits, but the guy, again, just takes it like a champ, apparently. We don't want to open walls, not yet. Moving up, protecting with a shield. Shut it around, moves up, another 80% shot. That guy is just taking shots and is eating them 
for breakfast. Anders. Uh, it's a seesaw. All right. Well, Caesar stops bleeding and instead heals. That guy is just tanking shots left and right. Okay, we know there are enemies in here. And to be fair, these guys do have a bit of priority. Good, that's one. That's two. And that's three. Got them spotted out. Nick Nack, the party snack. Gets one. It's the second one, but we're not done yet. Does not hit. Let's try that again. There we go. Just a matter of having enough bullets in the chamber. Alright, zero chance. Finally gets that guy down. Can't believe that he essentially lived just as long as he did. That's crazy. All right, um, good moment in time to slightly go back and reassess where we want to go. Moving up. Happy takes a shot. Good one. Shattered Realm moves up. Take another shot. Alright, gets one down. Tony, 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 Tony. Who's up here? I'm going to take the high ground in a second. The G moves up here, takes that high ground in a second. Zero chance moves up, and I think everybody else has already moved, so we're actually okay. Should have hunkered zero down just in case someone else is coming from here. Okay. So that and can't really do anything about it triple hit and let's get that 
away. Okay, cool. Let's stun this guy. Stun for 23. Another 30. And he fell unconscious. Very good. Even got enough left over for a sweet, sweet illumination. Tony moves up. Billy G moves up. And in the meantime, let's make sure we have everything covered here with the RVs. Okay, shooting line moves slightly forward. Good. Enemies apparently are still out there. I'll remove more of the house so that we get a good uh, view on what's happening behind here. Moving up and I think we're okay. Definitely starting to move deeper into that open terrain here. Once we're at it, uh, let's make sure that we do have full line of sight. Lots of illumination. Good, Zoe moves up as well. Enders moves up and Shattered Realm continues to move up here as well. Fabulous. I think if we remove more walls, we should be fine. Because then this here wouldn't happen. Yep. 
The explosives, specifically the grenade launcher, are good as long as you are close. The moment that you are moving further away actually becomes quite a burden to remove cover. Triple. That's a solid hit. That's another hit, but not a kill. And finally, after three attempts, the guy goes down. Good. Continue to illuminate literally everything. Good, we're moving up. I want to get to the entrance of the UFO. And I think it's fair to say that the snipers also need to get up here. Very far run for them. But they need to reposition. There is simply no one over here. By the way, these new suits, the exosuits are crazy. If you have seen, I was able to launch three grenades from the grenade launcher or reload and shoot two, uh, two further grenades. That certainly wasn't um, happening beforehand. And we can have over a hundred action, so time units. You can see it here, 111. Super good. Very fast. Good. At the same time, we're moving up. Let's move over here. We are ready for a breach. One. Two. The quick assaults will go in as well. Good, and the snipers are trying to take somewhat positions. Tony moves up. We're good. I think we've moved everybody. Not a surprise. Luckily, we could suppress both of them.
Moving up. Stun. 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 Okay. Only took us like five stunning hits. Interesting. Good. We're moving up. Cover, cover. Move up. Move up. And we got two snipers back here, which is fine. Good, Nick Nick found out that there is no one hiding there. In the meantime, Yulot and Nuber and over. And zero chance does so as well. Good. Fair enough. But the, the whole door starts to become a bit annoying, so I'm going to remove that and that. Then I stun and suppress. Removal of the wall. 92% and he botches that throw. Good. Finally. Single shot. Unfortunately, one that did not connect. Another single shot. Watching another one that did not connect. Okay. This guy is pretty much stunned. Did he unfortunately need to move? Um, Nuba moves in, takes shot. And that was finally successful. Nick Nick begins to move up. It took a while to get that uh, to get that guy 
um, down unconsciously. Okay, nothing to see here. We are moving all of uh, our soldiers into a proper position. Good. End of turn. Let's try to stun the remaining occupants because that'll give us more more funds. Jim moves up. Continues to move up. Good. Which then brings us to no suppression needed because the guy looks the other way. Which is very kind of him. I like that. Alright, come on. Good, we're moving up. Um, yeah, let's move everybody up. I think there might be one or two more in the control room. to leave anyone staying. Good, and Shattered Realm will basically help on this side as well. Okay, all we need to do is throw another flashbang in. And then storm the upper bridge. Alright, that looks like a big fat flashbang that is needed. The realm moves up, and I think, since the flashbangs are stunning as well. That's a two for one, respectively, three for one stun. Okay. 
good level of stunning so far. Good, from now on we can uh, move up. Actually start to hit these guys. Good, the Mentark hasn't taken a lot of stun damage yet. I wasn't sure if we can get him down. But boy, the three stun grenades worked well. If they are clustered up, you can get them down. And that, by the way, was $60,000 in just one room. If we put in the other 40k that we got earlier, that's 100 grand uh, with uh, just life specimen as we are going through the UFO. Good after action report. Easy peasy. Zero chance got his 10th mission under the belt and we even got one out of four local survivors. That's more than I would have expected. Now, as things are progressing, we are hunting the next UFO as you can see. Let's trail it until it's over land. And it's another abductor. I have looked into air combat and there are a couple of other topics. Evasive role. And then we do have afterburners. Increased speed and acceleration, but will prevent it from firing weapons or performing evasive role. Okay, well. And the one was the one that has taken the damage, so first of all, let's start. Evasive roll. Okay. Good. Apparently, I've slightly misunderstood just uh, the micromanagement of the aircraft. So, if you're using evasive rolls, you're better off than before. Got another crashed side mission. And objective, complete progress on endgame. What, what does that even mean? How do I now do the final mission? I tell you what, as an exception, we're going to collect the bounty here. Mainly because I don't want to extend the playthrough way longer than it needs to be i want to come to a proper ending i think by now you guys know how uh, the ufos are being played so let's have uh, that and the section and the civilian officer and the actual civilian and Psion and Mantark. And definitely all of uh, the plasma weapons. That gives us more money because that's what we really need to just upgrade everything. In terms of engineering, one, two, Three, four, five, six, so that's eight plus three, it's eleven. 
were one short of all of uh, the exosuits. Launch interceptors, let's go. We got our triplet. Let's launch more aircraft. What are we dealing with? That is an abductor. Let's tail until overland. Commence an attack. I like that. Good. Afterburner. Afterburner, afterburner. Afterburner off. Afterburner off, afterburner off. Easy. Okay, cool. We're collecting another bounty. That finishes the exosuits. We then need, um, yeah, the reinforced plating. That should be done quick. And the and the grenade upgrade. And then we do have all of the upgrades that are needed. I finally figured out how air combat works. You know, better late than never, as they say. Good, got 1.6 mil of funding, which we will need in order to upgrade a couple of uh, things. Let's start with the absolute necessary stuff. We wanted reinforced plating. Yes, please. Fusion grenade upgrades. Yes, please. And was it jetpacks? There you go. How much is left? 600. How many days? 10. How long would it take to upgrade this? Two days. I think we're better off not to upgrade it, but instead just uh, let it run. I think we're fine overall, 600k. Uh, Asia has the biggest problem at the moment, so really what we're going to do is we're making sure that there is another ra radar array. Insufficient power. Don't like that. Another generator and another radar relay. There you go. So we're broke again, but we're building exosuits like there is no tomorrow. Good, we're continuing with stun batons. And we're now continuing with reinforced plating. That's all uh, fine and dandy.
another generator and yeah we're not having enough money for for another radar but getting that extra radar would be a good thing fusion grenade upgrade is coming through we're just speeding this up a bit because not much is happening boozer jetpacks all right Just out of curiosity, I think we're almost done. Boozer jackpacks are the last uh, ones. And then, how do I finish the game, is the question. There's nothing more to research. Okay. Do I need a quantum array? Unlikely, right? I don't think so either. We do have the best aircraft, Dragonfly, so in previous XCOM titles you needed a good aircraft to then fly to wherever we need to go. We most certainly do not need new soldiers. I mean, look at Zoe, 100, 100, 100, and 77. Duh. That is pretty self-explanatory. Even the guys that came late, right? The, the worst bobs and wasps of this world are now already at the rank of a major. Pretty sure we're okay. But what I don't know is how to finish the actual game. So, complete progress on endgame. Alien Origins, we got that one. Hmm. Hmm. Good. That's a bomber, the biggest UFO in existence. Let's see how well we're going to do against a bomber. Everybody. Starts to slowly move up. This one is doing an evasive roll. Oh yeah. Do another evasive roll. Well, we can, apparently. Oh, we destroyed him. Well, evasive rolls are the shit. Uh, that is. And was really good. Let's see how well our normal interceptors are working once I have figured out how air combat works. I'm stupid, that was the problem beforehand. Air roll, I like it. 
that guy stops and here we're going to take another roll oh and we're already doing very well no i'm not going to do another crash site forget about that we're just harvesting it i like that option of course if i would not want to push uh, the game forward getting those other missions would be helpful but yeah now i do have three radar relays everywhere i am what i am wondering there's no more research we have researched the entire plot we know where they are coming from I really think that we do have a problem here. Got all autopsies, got all interrogations. Got the full upgrade here. Mars combat platform. That's the only thing that I didn't uh, didn't build. But that should not be a problem. Soldier weapon, background. We got the invasion. And this was the last thing that we did. Research text coming later. Alien origins. Here, capturing alien units, particularly high ranking ones, for interrogation should solve the problem. Uh, furnishing us with sufficient information to devise a suitable plan of attack. Yeah, I captured dozens of them. Hmm. Good. What else can we do? I'm just going through the options here. Launch aircraft. Select mission for a target. Dragonfly. Mission target. Hmm. Okay, we don't need a funding report at the moment. Could construct a new base, which again, I don't want to do. Why should I? Okay, objective, complete process on the end game. Our organization is working on endgame. We will passively make small amounts of progress each day, but this can only be accelerated by capturing, interrogating alien units. High-ranking aliens such as Eternals, which do not exist in the game, leaders or officers will provide a greater bonus to endgame if captured. We are done with that. It was a hundred percent, but nothing happened. So. What's the plan here? UFOs keep on coming, but I just don't know what the plan is supposed to look like. Yeah, I know that this will not create a UFO of rack that is fine it's only an observer anyways Here we go. Yeah, I really. 
really think we might have gone through it. We've also built everything, could build up resources. I mean, yeah, quantum array. Upgrades existing radars, intercept alien communication. Is this going to be the thing? Quantum array? I think that's unlikely. I'm just producing a couple of alloys and maybe that quantum array will finish uh, and give us another option. In terms of just showing uh, showing you the final setup, so we got our armor upgrade. This time it's eight. That's great. So we can get up to 43 armor. These things here deal a lot of damage. So the, the thermal ones have been upgraded. I like that. And with ex with full exosuit armors, gosh damn it, we're fast. A bit of a bit more grenades are good, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hundred and twelve time units, crazy. Grenadier already has that. What does a jetpack do? Wait, five? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We can't put a jetpack on every single one. No brainer. No brainer. That is easy enough. Yeah, here you go, jetpack. And jetpack. And whilst we're at it, a little bit more ammunition. I think we're going to do one more mission with all of uh, the nasty new tools. Extra jetpacks. Exosuit armor, extra jetpacks. Holy shit, we can carry so, so much. What I would say is what we haven't done, we haven't really gotten the new shock pistols. They are even a little bit better than the one that uh, we have. Just more grenades all over. Yeah, so the end game equipment looks fun, I gotta admit. extra grenades I mean all of the grenades are good now the jetpacks just make uh, the whole thing a little bit better Wow and the stats are crazy if you just look at stats like this here for instance Zoe all hundred just the hells would need upgrading, but that over time uh, will come over time. And then 112 uh, time units. That is bad. And with uh, the jetpacks, we can traverse vertically. Vertical movements cost four time units per tile. Yeah, pretty damn good. Anyways. I don't know guys, 
let's just try to see let's try to see if that radar upgrade will do the trick we're now having larger radars on both sides by the way else we're here equipment electroshock pistol start production chew thank you oh wait 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 and that one is 20 a pop yeah no we're needing the alloys for something else good base upgrade uh, we need 25 alloys, which means we can have, which means we can actually start creating six more, and then we can create two pistols. Good. Electro pistol, we haven't seen that one yet. Good. Funding report. Thank you very much. Now with enough money what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade quantum array and i think that's pretty much it if that doesn't help us i don't know what will can by the way see these guys uh, this one here is the upgraded version very nice weapon 35 stun not bad or pistol good let's see if that upgraded relay does anything Did we upgrade the relay or are we still working on that? One hour, okay. All right, let's commence an attack. One, two, three. Phantom four. And we'll keep that in mind whether or not we're uh, going to use that. I don't know if I want to do a last mission. I'm a bit disappointed that the game has no proper ending.
UFO detected. So now we got more. We know Ratha here, mission scouting. Okay. Mission retaliation. Okay, I see. But that does not allow us to really do anything with the home world. Okay, I don't, I still don't understand. Listen, one last check. Objective completed. We, these guys here are having bombing runs. It's, I don't understand how we are supposed to finish the game. And I think the answer is you're not second. I think the sad answer is it's currently not in a state where it is finishable. much fuel enough all right select new target go get it i mean at least i figured out the air combat and i suppose to a degree we you could now continue playing uh, but what's the point if you can't really beat the game it's a bit of a repetitive game loop then. Oh, Phantom almost down. Good. I've not even seen that uh, the that uh, the panic level reduces. It actually just increases over time. So eventually you're going to lose the game, no matter what, unless there are missions to actually reduce uh, the the panic level. But it appears that that is not the case. All of those little bombings here have increased the panic level. So. It almost pains me, guys, but after a long, long, long while of playing the game, I think there is nothing more than we can do. We have played it until the very end. There is no more research in the current build. Apparently, you cannot finish the game. As far as you can get is where we have gotten. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think we still had a blast with our team. Had a couple of really good fights. Uh, definitely had some memorable experiences with all of the stats. And we've shown that over time, with enough time, a soldier can be 100 in all stats. And really, really strong. And although we ha have not seen kind of uh, that last equipment in use, I could guarantee you that with the jetpacks and more armor, 43 armor is a lot. 
that means we're actually quite sturdy and everybody has more grenades self-healing and so on and so forth so the game does have the tools later down the line to um to be meaningful uh, granted the upgrades costed a lot of money but it was fun once you got the upgrades going i might do a little bit of a, a review after 100 percent. i certainly will do some guides uh, now that i will release as well from all of uh, the experience that I have gathered during the 243 days that we've played the game. If Xenonaut 2 is for you, then this is my last call in letting you know that there are options to buy it. Affiliate links are below. If you enjoyed the playthrough, leave a comment down below and let me know if Xenonauts is the game that got you hooked. I hope you enjoyed that last play let's play and see you in the next episodes of another game potentially. Take care and goodbye.